Okay, just doing a quick update video on the house today. Um, we're waiting on a dumpster to get here so we can just do a whole lot of demo, but we do have a little bit of news and a little bit of progress in terms of uh, seeing what's going on inside the house. So we'll give another quick walkthrough of the main floor and uh, what you can see since we've torn some stuff down. All right, let's do it. First of all, Leroy's home. This is where he will call home for now. Might have to tear this carport down, my carpenter says, but uh, hopefully not, because it's just about right. Um, two things that you need when you're demoing is wasp and hornet killer, and one of these, because I didn't the first time, and man, did I breathe in some crap. So let's go see what's going on and try not to die, shall we? Okay. So, this was the kitchen. So this whole pantry over here just absolutely destroyed. And uh, pulled it down. Had that thing across the ceiling up there, yanked that down, knocked all the cabinets down. Knocked this drywall in. Uh, a lot of this wood is gonna have to get replaced, I am told. Um, there's a big hole in the floor that you can't even see because we pulled all of this stuff down and it's kind of got a layer on the floor. Today I'm going to knock it or try to work on knocking it uh, through the floor a little bit <clears throat> so we can have it in the basement and shovel it out the front door into the dumpster that we got coming on the way. <clears throat> but this is what it looks like after a bit of sludge hammering and crowbarring occurs. Total mess. Totally dangerous. Just death trap. Gross. All that. Okay, you step through. See, this room's not much changed since the day that I emptied the uh, trash out of it. But this one, we did yank down the walls and see that it's properly insulated on the outside. The uh, drop ceiling was pretty ghetto installed. And then, let me zoom in on this. bunch of black tape and then I'm sure that's to code so we're all right with the floors we feel good about the floors they're pretty solid I mean it's small pieces could be better <clears throat> but it could definitely be worse uh, but this stuff we're probably just gonna frame it on the inside, kind of like somebody tried to do here. Bring the ceiling down a little bit so we can get can lights up there pretty comfortably and just kind of frame up the way they've done this already. Just kind of bring it in a bit, make the room a little bit smaller obviously, but make it a lot easier to wire and everything. And then possibly do the same thing in this room so that we're not actually gonna have to potentially tear into everything. Um, we do have some issues like, uh, so the house is probably going to be completely rewired. We've got things like this outlet here that's like sideways and in the trim. We've got those throughout. Some of them are even worse and lower down. Like that guy right there. So, I mean, we need it more like this where it's up off the ground. But we haven't even had an electrician look at the house yet to tell us how fucked we are. Um, we're just counting on pretty fucked for now. And anything that's better than that is gonna be a surprise and bonus. All right, so I'm gonna take this sledgehammer and see if I can knock any of this crap to the floor without dying. Okay, it's time to address something that's been bothering me for years. And I need to hear if it's just me or if anybody else has this issue, but I am the black fucking sheep of death. All through my life, every time I try to do anything, 
I always hear, well, I've never seen that before in my life. Something catastrophically goes wrong. I always get out of it in the end. Don't get me wrong. I come through. I persevere. But let's say you buy a brand new computer and it works. I buy a brand new computer and something's wrong with it that somebody's never seen in their life. Same thing with the car, the truck, this house, I'm sure, and this is a start. But shit just never goes right. I am a walking, talking Murphy's Law. It sucks. Case in point, gonna destroy this room today. Motivated, gonna do it. Swing this big ass hammer that's obviously been alive for years and years. The first time I swing it, snap. What the fuck? Does anybody else have this problem? Does anybody else have all the problems that other people don't have? That you have to just spend so much more time, money, and effort fighting just because life doesn't want to cooperate. No matter how much you put into it. It fucking sucks. Anyway, just thought I'd share. I still got some done with the shovel. But I gotta go buy a new sledgehammer. It's getting too hard. And it's fucking hot! And uh, thanks for watching.